So today is February 21st and I'm going to be confining a queen and building some builders. So let's go. This particular queen that I'm using here is she's a red queen so she's whatever three years old and she's a great queen she's not only produced honey for me and has a really great temperament although today she may not be in the best of moods she has produced an excess amount of bees and all three boxes there are filled with bees or actually two of them and they're bringing in pollen like crazy so yes she makes a great breeder queen among her other traits I was here yesterday and I reversed the entire hive but it was too late in the day to find the queen so I'm back however this is the top and there is absolutely nothing going on up here except now that they're cleaning and getting it ready for her and that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a queen excluder just down below it find her put her up and give her only a few frames so that I can graft from her with the right age larva. camera here keep me in focus 
focus like mm -hmm. what I'm looking at. red mark off completely.
a nice frame of all worker. Worker chrome. And this is my queen divider. So she can have all the help up there she wants, but she's not going to go over here. I'm going to know that that's the frame I can pull. to it and it will draw up any nurse bees because it's got larva and everything else on it. You can see the larva and it's laid all the way out to the ends. And now in four days. Could possibly take her an extra day to get going, but in about four days I should be able to be grafting from her. And she's a really good queen to graft from. So the, once she's in here, I know I'm in a flow and I know she's got a lot of stores, but to make sure that you get grafts with a good puddle of, uh, a good puddle of royal jelly, meaning they're well nourished larva, you feed them. That's the only other thing you need to do now. Make sure they're well fed so that that larva is well fed and then you're going to put it into a builder that you're going to feed as well. So that's part of your queen rearing. If you have a queen that you know you want to graft from, pick out her traits that you know she has. Pick that queen and before you go to graft from her, if you're doing this type of grafting queen rearing system, put her where you know she's going to give you a frame or two of eggs because looking through the whole hive the day you want to graft is not something you want to do and it's one of those hacks that hey you've got her you've got her on the frames and even if you just put her in the top you'd have a better chance of finding laid out frames than going through that entire hive the day you want to graft if you like this video subscribe and hit the bell and until the next time happy beekeeping yeah.